So every mm. 90 minutes, you've got these very ancient circuits in your midbrain that just blast random activity just into your visual cortex. And so dreaming is the brain's way of defending the visual cortex against takeover. I think it's super interesting. And I want you to explain why we actually dream. So this is a hypothesis that my student and I came up with some years ago, which is the following. If you go blind, as, as we mentioned earlier, if you go blind, that territory or visual cortex gets taken over by neighboring kingdoms of, of data, like hearing and touch. Um, but the surprise in neuroscience is how fast this can happen. So some colleagues of mine at Harvard did this experiment where they took normally sighted people and they blindfolded them and they put them in the brain scanner. And what they found to their surprise is that after about an hour, they could start seeing activity in the visual cortex. So what we realized was, given the rotation of the planet, um, you know, this causes a real problem for the visual system because you end up in the dark for half the cycle. And, and obviously the thing of interest here is evolutionary time before we had lights, which is just the last, you know, nanosecond of evolutionary time where we had lights or even fire. Um, most of most of our history, it's been extremely dark at nighttime, and that means your visual system is disadvantaged during the night. You can still hear and smell and taste and touch during the night, but you can't see. And so we realized the problem is the visual system needs some way of defending itself against takeover, and that is what dreams are about.